Hello, I'm Match. Welcome back. Um, in the last tutorial, we did a super saw, and we messed around with some of the elements here. Uh, and I think we're gonna talk about some EGs for the next couple of tutorials. So I'm gonna focus on one EG per tutorial here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, EG stands for Envelope Generator. And uh, basically what an envelope or envelope is, uh, is a modulation source that goes to a fixed destination, usually a fixed destination. So you'll have a, a pitch envelope, a filter envelope, an amplitude envelope. There's specific modulation sources. Uh, and so what we want to do is we want to get to an initialized patch. Of course, right here, I got the pearly gates. And for those of you that don't know, this is what it sounds like. Beautiful. <clears throat> so in order to get to initialize patch, if you stuck with me from tutorial one here, you know we're going to hit category search. We're going to hit init, we're going to hit AWM2, and we're going to hit the back button, and that'll put us at our uh, performance screen. So go ahead and hit the init normal name, and we're going to press edit from the little left-hand column that comes up. You're going to land on a part that says uh, common, and on the, on the left-hand side it'll have part settings. Uh, and then here on the bottom, it'll have one through eight. So we're just going to select uh, a saw wave like we did last time. Synth lead, OB saw. Go back. That's what that sounds like. So <clears throat> if you'll notice over here on the left hand side, you have uh, some options here, and one of them is pitch EG. We're going to talk about a pitch envelope generator. So basically what a pitch envelope generator is it tells the computer what to do whenever you push a button or a key here uh, and the montage has it arranged in attack, decay 1, decay 2, and release so they're ADDR usually they're ADSR so they're a little bit different but not too much um, <clears throat> if you'll notice on the screen here the montage has it separated between time and the level that it's going to achieve at that time so let's say we want a sound to go pew. so it's gonna start from a high pitch and then it's gonna drop down to its normal pitch uh, the great thing about the ADDSR inside of the montage is that it has plus and negative values. So let's go ahead and make our little pitch drop to do the little sound that we want to do here. So basically you want your attack time to be at zero. So that means it's literally going to take no time for your attack value to hit whatever maximum you set for it. Um, <clears throat> there's a there's a there's a number down here that says PEG depth. That means the 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 higher you have the depth set, the higher the pitch is gonna is gonna start whenever we do our little pitch drop. So it's remember it's gonna go doo. It's gonna start from the top and then it's gonna go to the bottom. So we want to come over here and we want to turn our level. Now that we have our time set to zero, we want to turn our level relatively high so we can get the pitch drop in effect okay so if you want it to come from a higher point you adjust your percentage EG depth See. now if you want it to drop below zero if you'll notice over here on the graph you can kind of hear what's happening. It's it's starting up high and it's dropping down and then it's going to hit a baseline and stay there. Okay, now because you can do negative envelopes on on the uh, on the montage here, we can take our decay time and we can make it go down below. So just looking at this graph, you can tell that the sound is basically going to go and it's going to come back up to a baseline and hold. Okay, 
decay. So if you adjust the decay two time, we'll make it maybe go up. And then of course your release. It's basically going to go and it'll hold. Now the thing we have to remember about the release time is that the release time function is set basically whenever you let the key go. Okay, so, and we're going to talk about that in the amplitude, uh, e.g., uh, in, in another tutorial. But there's a function called release in the amplitude, e.g., that you have to turn up. So, this, as long as we hold the key, it's going to go, and as long as we hold the key, it's going to hold this high pitch. Okay, so if your amplitude has a high release on it, as soon as we let the key go, it's going to go, and just continue to fall. So let's try it. As long as I hold the key, it's going to stay at that high note. Now, if I adjust the decay to uh, level and bring it down, it'll come right back up to, as long as I have it at zero, it'll come right back up to whatever key I'm pushing. So in this case, I'm pushing a C. Uh, it's going to go B, and it's going to stop at a C. D. E. Okay, now this is for this is for one oscillator, right? And each oscillator on the Yamaha Montage has its own individual EGs. Um, so you can see where this can get uh, kind of complicated. So what I'm going to do just for fun is I'm going to turn, come on over here, I'm going to turn on another oscillator, okay? You notice I click from one, which is the one we're messing with, oscillator tune, and I come over here to two. Make sure that this button is highlighted because you're going to get really aggravated. Trust me, it's not on. When you turn it on, it'll play. When it's off, it doesn't play. Uh, but you, <laughs> sometimes we make silly mistakes like that. So search, and <clears throat> I guess I'm going to do... I'll do, um, let's see what this sounds like. Just as, as I want to find like a, a sound that I can hold here. Um, let's see. Boys choir. We'll, we'll just, we'll just do boys choir. Ooh. Uh, so then you come over to the pitch EG here and I want to, I want the sawtooth to come from down from the top down and I want the boys choir to come from the down up so I want the EGs to look similar well I can just kinda go back and forth and compare them here um, on my time the ADDSR is set to 0064 64 127 which apparently is pretty close to the default with the respect uh, with um, with the exception of attack so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that to zero like it is currently I am going to match the level ADDSR to the the positives and the negatives. We're gonna we're gonna invert them here. So the attack on the level ADSR on the pitch EG is set to plus seventy five. I'm gonna set that to minus seventy five. The decay one is set to negative 99 I'm gonna set it to positive 99 I have no idea how this is gonna sound but and it's probably not gonna sound great but if you you can you can get in here and you can tune these things to make them do all kinds of crazy pitch effects and stuff like that so 99 there <clears throat> our decay 2 is set to 0 so I'm gonna leave that alone and then of course our release is set to negative 96 and again the your release on your pitch EG is only going to take effect whenever you let go of the key so right now I'm going to I'm just going to come over here to my amp EG if you'll notice on this line the release function is set to zero so this basically means the uh, we have a zero attack decays are full on decays are full on release is set to zero so what that means is is as soon as I hit the key it's going to go back and it's going to sound as long as I hold it but because release is set to zero whenever I let it go, it's instantly going to shut off. So just instant shut off. So if I change this to just a little bit, maybe like 40, let's say 50, 
whenever I let the key off, it's going to sustain in the distance. So uh, it'll go bang and then gradually lower in volume. This is your amplitude EG, okay? And we'll discuss that here in a second. But back to the pitch. I want to make sure these match. Uh, so the release really doesn't matter, but I'm going to set it like that anyway. To plus 96, right? And let's just see what that sounds like. <laughs> They're both doing exactly what I told them to do. Um, I'm going to come over here and put that saw on top of it. Now, what do you suppose is going to happen whenever I set the release up really high? Anything that has a release function attached to it on the pitch EG. over time if you look at amplitude one you can see that it basically stops so I'll draw this one out as well now Thank you.